in five minutes or less. I'm going to explain to you exactly why you aren't happy and how to change that. Secret number one, wanting to be happy every day is what is making you unhappy. When we have a goal of wanting to be happy every day, this is already problematic as it reflects the fact that we have unrealistic expectations and that we don't truly understand how happiness actually works. First off, it is impossible to be happy all the time. It is inevitable that hard things are going to pop up intermittently in our lives. And I think it's fair to say that we don't usually feel happy about hard things going on in our lives. And second, when we're so focused on happiness, this tends to create a very black or white perspective on how we feel about life. Because if we're purely focused on happiness, that means that we are either happy or we're not. And when we're not happy, how do you think people feel? Well, they're unhappy, right? And if our only options are to feel happy or unhappy every day, I'm pretty sure that we'll feel like we're losing the game of life on a very regular basis. So instead of focusing on trying to be happy every day, what else can we focus on? Well, let me introduce you to secret number two, which is that you need to expand your definition of what it means to have a good life. It is inevitable that we will experience hard things in life. So instead of trying to avoid those hard things all the time in order to attempt to maintain your happiness, what we actually need to do instead is to remember that hard things can be used to strengthen us. And then we need to add some new vocabulary onto that list of things that make you feel good about yourself. Just as exercising our bodies causes some short-term aches and pains, that pain is a necessary part of the process that leads to building muscle and making ourselves stronger over time. And in the same way, when we experience hard things in life, let's start using those hard experiences to build ourselves up by shifting our thoughts away from focusing only on happiness. And instead, I want you to start focusing on how you can be proud of yourself through the lenses of my six positive reframing tools, which are progress, learning, growth, gratitude, acceptance, and patience. When we start to focus our thoughts on these six things, we can use these tools to start building our self-love and confidence even though what we're experiencing is hard. And you can download my free guide on how to love your life no matter what using the link in the description to learn more about how to use my six positive reframing tools in your life. And finally, secret number three, focus on the process, not the outcome of working towards your goals. Whether you're conscious of it or not, we all have an ideal future life vision for ourselves that might include dreams and goals related to what you want to accomplish in your lifetime, what kind of family or career you'll have, how much money and the type of lifestyle you want to have, and many other things. But what tends to make us feel unhappy is when we spend a lot of time thinking about our goals and then we look back at where we are now and then we get really stressed out and anxious because of how big the gap is between who we are now and who we want to be in the future in order to achieve those goals. Now, I can assure you that having stress and anxiety about all of this is optional. And for those of you who have it, the source of that anxiety is often because you have what I call outcome-focused expectations, where you're overly focused on the outcome that you want and you are determining whether or not you feel happy based on whether or not you've achieved those goals yet. And so in order to start releasing and hopefully avoiding a lot of that stress and anxiety you're creating for yourself, instead of having outcome-based expectations, I want to encourage you to refocus on having process-based expectations. Now, when we have process-based expectations, we still have goals, but in this case, your goals are there to provide direction and motivation. However, instead of using the achievement of those goals to determine how we feel about ourselves, instead, we're going to consciously shape how we feel about ourselves every single day by focusing our thoughts on how we can be proud of ourselves throughout the process of working toward our goals, and we can use my six positive reframing tools that I mentioned in the last point for that. And I also highly recommend watching my Love Your Life video series, which I'll link to below, which will walk you through exactly how to use all of those tools. So this is why you need to know these three secrets. Because by understanding how happiness is created and how it's not created, this will give you a tangible framework to hold on to that you can use to start developing a new belief that you have the power to change how you feel in your life right now. Even if you're still trying to figure out exactly how you'll apply the things I've talked about in this video, I hope that starting today you are now beginning to believe that it is possible to change how you feel and to know that the presence of the new belief of possibility can be the starting point of something absolutely life-changing for you. Stop worrying about being happy and instead start focusing on learning how to love yourself and your life by shifting your thoughts to focusing on how you can be proud of yourself even when you're experiencing hard things. And guess what? The ironic thing is that when you do that and you stop focusing on happiness so much, you will actually start to feel a whole lot happier. 